Hello, you're stuck in with Wolf Gorla, a couple minute riff on IT and IT security. Today, looking at different ways of assessing a cloud-based app. So, imagine you are, you know, lead of a development team. Imagine you are building the next big thing. It's got a, a web interface. It's got a, you know, API. It's got, you know, RESTful, of course. It's got a mobile app. It's got everything you need. And, uh, and you need to figure out the security of it. What ways can you slice and dice that? I mean, people say, hey, I need to make sure my stuff's secure. And that's always like, well, what part of your stuff? Because there's so many different ways that security can be defined. So tip to you, uh, in general, there are three main ways. I'd say four main ways. In general, there are four main ways to uh, assess the security of an application. First is, how is that application produced, right? So you look at the way the software is created. So you develop the life cycle, the controls are in place across it. Uh, oftentimes this is looking at your life cycle compared to something like SAM, the software assurance maturity model. There are others. Uh, but you look at the steps and the gates and the process that you, your team follows to produce the code. Cool. Next thing is, um, what about the controls, the logic of controls, and the code itself? The way you look, would look at that would be using something similar to, um, you know, the Cloud Security Alliance, uh, what's it, C, CIQ, the uh, questionnaire that says, hey, how is this code maintained and produced, and what are the logic of controls around accessing this application? That's number two. Related to that, you may also look at the actual hosting environment and whatnot as well, but right now I'm just looking at the application. Uh, number three, you look at, okay, as the application is built and implemented, how secure is it? How strong is it? How impervious is it to attack? Um, to do that, that's the typical pen test, right? You, you fire off your red team and see if they can break into it. Uh, and then, Finally, all the way down to the most granular level, you have uh, code analysis. Code review and code analysis, where you're actually looking for vulnerabilities within that code stack uh, that may not be readily apparent. Now, each one of these things is gonna find different avenues of weaknesses. Each one of these uh, four tests is going to identify different holes in different ways that uh, either malicious insiders or you know your competitor or the bad guy on the internet could possibly misuse your application. Uh, it's about taking a different slice and looking at those slices very carefully and figuring out where the vulnerabilities are and then of course putting it all back together to get a holistic picture of the true security of your application. That's the four that come to my mind. What did I miss? <laughs> what, uh, what one of those four do you think is most important? Hit me up social media, comments. You know the drill. Have a good one.